Hey everybody, it's Nia Imani and I'm here to do a three things I love about my HBCU, the illustrious Hampton University, the real HBCU. Yeah, that's what I'm here to talk about. And I also have a special little thing for you guys at the end. So if you guys do not know what an HBCU is, it is a historically black college or university. Okay, so HBCUs were typically founded at the ending of slavery or like while slavery was still going on and they were basically served, they served as a learning place for blacks, also for like Native Americans. Well, mine was a place for Native Americans to learn as well and basically to learn trades that they weren't able to, or trades or get the education that they weren't able to get, um, period, because you know, white schools were not allowing blacks into their schools. So I attend the Hampton University. Yes, some people want to call it the fake HU, the HI. Um, how we're always those shots. We don't care. Like, just stop doing it. We don't care. But like I was saying, the three things that I love about my HBCU, the sense of community. So once I stepped foot on Hampton campus, um, I already knew that I was basically at home. Um, we were greeted immediately like when I was pack when I was um, unpacking my car to move into my dorm um there's this there's a group at our school or an organization at our school called SLP and they would um a lot of the volunteers or the helpers were basically there to um help us move our things up to our rooms and it was just very helpful also during our um orientation week we were basically like we had a whole week of just like we had orientation but they made it fun and we just we're basically like greeted with a big and they just kind of like helped us out helped us get acquainted and just made us feel like you know all our worries of not being at home or around people we knew just made it go away the sense of community also comes in when you just need help or you just need to reach out to somebody and people are always there to help you which is a, a plus because like i said a lot of people are far from home and it just basically makes it easier for us just to feel like we have we have family outside of our actual family so Hampton definitely make sure we get that, make sure as we get that vibe. Also, another thing that I like about my HBCU, um, the small classes. Um, typically, my classes might have anywhere between 25 to 30 people in it, depending on if like I have a, um, a lecture class, but it's, that's not that often. So the small classes, I do prefer a um, smaller environment to learn so that I, I don't feel like I'm just a number. Um, I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends, they attend PWIs or larger institutions and their classes have three to 400 people in them. Gl luckily, mine only has a small amount of numbers. So I'm basically like really getting my education and really um, grasping the material, which I do appreciate. So that's another thing I love about my HBCU. Um, lastly, the third thing that I really do appreciate about my HBCU is the opportunities. Um, if you guys don't know, my major is strategic communications and in our department or within my major, there's always um, things going on, ways to get your work put out there. There's always opportunities for internships. This just always seems like great opportunities on our campus. Um, you really can just kind of like be yourself. You can get a group started. You can be a part of a blog. You can be writing for the newspaper. You can be on the you just really can do a lot of things and I really do appreciate the opportunities. I feel like some schools you aren't allowed to um, necessarily be yourself for, for, like fully and I feel like there's just a lot of things for us to do. Also we have like you know our um, we have sports, we have just a wide variety of things that allow students to um, be their full, be themselves and reach their full potential and like I said the sense of community at our school is just it also lets you know your peers help you help you grow and build you up so that's really cool and I really do appreciate it so those are the top three things that I do appreciate about, about my HBCU I'm pretty sure if you ask anybody else from Hampton they'll have something else to say about their HBCU but those are my top three things I do have more things that I love about my HBCU but we're not gonna really get into that so um if you guys do watch my vlogs um, I did talk about having a um, you uh, HBCU YouTube vlogging collaboration um, it was founded by Cassidy Dixon that goes to Howard University she did reach out to me and um, I was like girl yes of course so we are a part of a HBCU vlogger so we have Cassidy from Howard we have me from Hampton we have Breland from Spelman and we have Keon from Morehouse College Morehouse College so all of us are planning to 
to do some really good vlogs for you guys so that you all are understanding and just getting a taste of our experience through the camera, through our lenses, and we're all in a part of a huge YouTube collaboration together. So that is my big news. Um, I hope you guys are, will be on the lookout for that next semester. There will be more vlogs for me, of course. Um, you know, it was my first semester of college. I was definitely getting acclimated, but um, that will not stop the show. I will continue to produce this content, and I will leave everyone's channel mentioned in the description box below. So I hope you guys um, are staying on the lookout for that, and I hope you guys will also go to their channels and follow them as well. So um, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day. And also, if you are in college yet, if you are a senior in high school, or you're a junior, please be sure to apply to an HBCU. Thank you. Have a great day.